Welcome back to the Open Lathe project. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mount the electrical components on the back plate for the enclosure. The first thing we're going to mount is the power supply. I like to mount these low and a little bit to the left to make it easier to access the terminals on the power supply. We'll mount the power supply to the back plate with two number six by half inch screws and nuts. First we'll attach the power supply to the back plate using the hole that's closest to the terminals. This back plate has eighth inch holes on quarter inch centers. Since this power supply was manufactured using metric dimensions, we're going to have to adjust a little bit to find a hole that will fit the enclosure. The hole that you use may tilt the power supply a couple degrees off square, but it really doesn't make a difference for what we're doing. After the power supply is mounted finger tight, use a wrench and a screwdriver to tighten your nuts and bolts down. The next thing to mount are the two identical stepper drivers. The mounting slots for the stepper drivers are not small enough to retain a number six screw. So we're going to mark some holes and drill them out to accept a number eight screw. The exact position of the stepper drivers isn't terribly important. You want to keep things tidy and also give yourself room to work. I just split the difference between the top of the enclosure panel and the power supply. Check your work and then go ahead and mark the holes for the second driver. Using a 3 16 inch drill bit, drill out the holes that you marked for the drivers. Using number 8 by half inch machine screws and nuts, attach the drivers to the mounting plate. Make sure you go back and tighten everything down with a wrench and a screwdriver. The panel is now ready to be mounted into the enclosure. <laughs> 